So let's warm up team. We're gonna get those angled inchworms going, okay? Angled inchworms. So what I want you all to do is get those feet together. Get some more light up in here. It's a little hazy today in Cali, which is a good change in weather and pace in weather. But uh, my roommate might not agree with that. All right, so let's uh, get those feet together. Just hang all you down just a tad so you can see more. All right, reach down for those toes, those shins, bend those knees, then inch out to the left, 45 degrees. Inch back, stand back up, big reach down. Bend those knees, hands on the floor before you rotate. And then go to the right side, hello. And then bring it back and just repeat that team. That slight little angled um, switch or transition on the inchworm just allows us to activate the core a little bit differently. Get those obliques warmed up, get that lumbar spine warmed up. So I'm just gonna loop, use that a lot today. All right, squad, keep going. Nice and steady. Make sure you have, if you have weights, make sure they're readily available. If you have those resistance bands, those long ones, circular ones, make sure those are readily available as well. Hi, mama, coming to YouTube. Oh. All right, team, keep going with those warm up. Keep going with that warm up here. Keep going, keep going. Just gotta get one more piece of equipment. Tight over here. All right. Cool. Let's get this. A few more. A few more seconds of this. This is one of the best full body warm ups you can do, team. So if you're working out on your own, get some inchworms going before you do your exercises. All right, squad, so come on up. We're gonna start with some back stuff, okay? What's up, everybody? We got nine people up in here, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna first start with some lawnmowers, team. We got 10 exercises, full body, 10 exercises. A lot of movement, so let's get going, okay? So for those of you, that have a chair, maybe a couch, maybe a desk. Get that in the vicinity of you. All right, if you got your couch, if you got something to put your hand your hand on for support, grab that. Okay, so I got this trusty chair here. Okay, grab a nice, pretty, a nice medium to medium heavy weight if you have weights. Okay, if you got the resistance bands, grab, um, grab a, a nice light one, and you're gonna place that underneath either your apparatus that you're holding on to, or you're gonna place it underneath that front foot. Okay, so we're just gonna do those lawnmowers on each side. What's up, silly? What's up, silly? Okay, so get you can even have a bench, all right? You can have a bench, so you can put that torso down a little bit further with more support. So we're just gonna start with those lawnmowers, okay, squat? So I'm gonna have my left hand here. Left leg forward, the weight, the hand with the weight where the resistance band is gonna be on that right side, and we're just gonna roll that sucker up, okay? Pinch that shoulder blade as you bring it up, and then when I call out that switch, switch the feet, switch the hands, and keep doing that, okay? Keep that arm nice and tight as you pass that torso. You should feel the tension primarily in the middle part of your back, and a little bit of that bicep. Okay, squat, here we go. Let's get started. We've got 10 exercises we got to push through, hopefully twice, at least two times. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. Roll that sucker up. If you have the cir uh, circular resistance band, place that underneath that front foot. Roll that sucker up. Maybe even if you have a heavy water bottle of some kind, a heavy book, you can roll that too. Okay. Remember, you should feel this primarily in that middle part of your back. Keep that torso nice and straight as you row this up. Keep it going, squad, let's go. All right, take a breather, switch it up, 
Grab that weight, put that resistance band underneath the front, the other opposite foot now. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. Pinch that shoulder blade, keep that arm nice and tight. Feel that tension in the middle part of your back, also known as the latimus dorsi. And a little bit in that bicep too. Exhale when you pull it up, inhale when you bring the weight down. Almost there. And rest it, beauties. Rest it. Put that weight down, put the resistance band out to the side. All right, I'm sure some of you are going to love this next one. We're just going to do the fan favorite. Let's get those burpees going. Remember, you got two options here. You can either jump, jump up nice and high, kick those legs out both at the same time, get a push up if you want to, all right, and then pop back up as so. Or you can just give me that calf raise, boom, hands down on the floor, one leg out at a time, bring it back, and do that calf raise again and repeat. So with the modified burpee, don't need to go too fast, it's just about that consistent movement, the consistent motion as you go down to the floor, controlling yourself, bringing those legs out, and bring it back. Okay, team? Here we go. Yeah! Yes, that's right. Oh, boy. Right, silly? Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. We're doing full body, team, so this is one of the best exercises for full body. Getting that power going, getting that nice standing to lateral motion, getting that shift down to the floor and back up. Walking on a little bit of chest, a little bit of arms, definitely legs, core. The full package here, team, all about that full package. Let's go, keep it moving, team. We're almost there. And rest it. Beautiful squad. Walk it out, wiggle it out. Get that heart up real quick. Oh boy. Man, you guys are very talkative today, so I'm trying to, I'm sunburnt. You're sunburnt? It's okay, just put some lotion. That'll turn into a nice tan. Whew. All right, so everybody grab. If you have a nice cushiony floor, grab that floor. If you got a nice cushiony mat, grab that cushiony mat to support our legs here. Okay, grab a nice light weight, light to medium weight. So I'm gonna start with 12 and a half pounds. On this one, maybe grab like a 10 pounder, an eight pounder, a five pounder. If you don't have that, grab, um, grab a water bottle of some kind, grab a book, grab something that has a little bit of weight for this one, okay? So we're gonna do those single arm overhead presses here. We're gonna start with that uh, right side. So left leg is forward, right arm 90 degrees. Left arm straight out to the side or on the hips. All right, so you're just gonna press up as so. Getting that arm back down to that 90 degree formation. Full flexion up, fully extend that arm and bring it back down and we're gonna switch sides. All right, team, here we go. Let's go three, two, one, and go. So if you don't have a dumbbell or a weight of some kind, is try to grab something in your, the vicinity of a good amount of weight a book, some canned veggies, canned, canned beans. Oh yeah, feeling already in these shoulders, team. Ah. Amanda, grab your cat. Overhead press your cat here. Let's go, squad, let's go. All right, let's switch it. Let's go left now. 
Get that right leg forward, nice strong chest, okay? Keep that torso nice and up, nice and hot. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Try to find a focal point, focus on that focal point. I just shift here. My knees digging into this cushiony mat here. Almost there. And rest it, you buttes. Great job, put that weight down. That's number three. Let's get number four. Oh man, these suck. <laughs> Grab a light weight. I'm going five pounds here. Cinco poundos. Cinco poundos here. Got this nice five pound. If you got a resistance band, maybe get the lightest, one of the lightest ones. Light medium, nothing crazy for this one. Okay, we're gonna go those, do those knee ups. So let's get that cushion again. All right, take your time with these, all right? Alternate the leg as you come up. So go left first, and then go right. All right, team, so the weight straight out as so. We're gonna go left here, and then right. All righty, try to alternate each leg as you come up. Try to get low, as low as you can in that squat uh, position. But if that's too challenging, you, just, you could just come up, stand up, and then bring it back down nice and easy. Okay, squad? Here we go, fishies. After this, I want some fishies in the chat. Here it is. Three, two, one. Arms out and let's go. <sighs> Try your best to not use your arms at all. That's why I'm is isolating your arms with this weight or the resistance band. So it's literally just your legs picking yourself up as you shift between the legs coming up. This leg strength, team. Leg strength. Let's get it. Kristen, you and I, legs are tired. For those of you that weren't here yesterday, we did a lot of legs. My cousin and I just crushing it. But it's glad, we're glad to have you all in this today with us. Let's go, team. Keep it going. Alternating both sides, left, then right. Shoulders are feeling this. We're almost there. And rest the beauties. Great job. It's number four. Number five, oh man. <laughs> yes, my favorite by the most dislikes. Mikey, you're always winning the burpee competition, brother. <laughs> no, the Bachelorette trip season premiere, dang it. There you go, Cuzzo. You can, you can uh, relate to Mama Cita Garcia with that one. All right, squad. So let's get a good pair of dumbbells, okay? So I'm gonna go 20 pounds, two zero. If you got 15, if you got 10, snag those. If you don't have dumbbells and you got the resistance band, grab a nice light or light medium one, okay? So we're gonna do some pulse chest presses here. Grab those weights, whoop. That's not the right. weight on this side. Remember, if you got the Bowflex weights like myself and Silly, got to make sure the, the weights are equal on each side before you bring them up. All right, team, so we're going to get down nice and low, lay down on your backs. Okay, you can either keep those feet down or if you want to activate the core a little bit more, you can bring those legs up. And what's going to happen, you're going to bring it down, you're going to pulse it two times. One, two, full press. Two full pulses, one, two, then a full press. Okay, squat. So let's get after it. For those of you that have the resistance band, you're just literally going to do the same thing. Okay? We're just going to come down nice and wide. Pulse it. One, two. Fight that resistance. Press up and then repeat. 
Here we go. Let's go. Three, two, one, and go. Hold it down. One, two, full press up. Down. One, two, full press up, and repeat. Try your best not to let those arms touch the floor. Pretty much hovering right above the floor here. Remember, legs up are optional. If you just want to activate the abs just a little bit more here, you just bring up those legs and isolate them. But if you want to keep them down, that's fine for more support. If you feel any awkwardness in that lower back with your legs up, bring those legs down. Keep it going, team. Keep it to get after it. Let's go. We're almost there. And rest. Put those weights down. Five push-ups, team. Five push-ups. Throw in that curveball here. Come on up. All right, knees down if you need to. Knees up if you're feeling saucy. Here we go. Just give me five. Three, two, one, and go. And rest it. Once you hit those five, take your time coming back up. There we go. We got the fishies. We got the fishies. You're a great job, Mama. I'm proud of you doing the burpees. Hopefully modified. I know, we need Minette. I don't know if Minette's here. She's had, she's kind of had a busy schedule lately, uh, Dylan. We miss her though. Amanda, you and Minette switch spots. Okay team, so we're just gonna get back down, lay on your back so we get those bicycles going, okay? Take your time with these, okay? Fingertips, fingertips on the ears, fingertips on the ears, legs starting in this uh, bent position, left el right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. If you need to put that head down, that's fine, all right? But if you want that extra challenge, keep that head up the whole time, so we activate the abs just a little bit more. All right, squad? If that's too much on the lower back, bring, put those feet down, and then just bring them up every time you do that opposite motion. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Try to touch that elbow to that opposite knee. Let's go squad, keep it going. Let's go fishies. Let's go fishies. Almost there. And rest it. Woo. That's a good one. <laughs> Core baby. All right, squad. We're gonna stay down there. I'm just getting a resistance band. Grab the lightest, uh, one of the lightest ones you have. One of the lightest ones or the one above that, nothing more, okay? If you don't have a resistance band, that's fine. It's still gonna be a doozy of an exercise here. All right, fishies. <laughs> Your cat would murder you. That's like most cats, Amanda. My roommates, my roommate's cat always gives me the death stare. Every time I just walk in the room, like, what the heck are you doing here? Getting in, inter infiltrating her area, right? <laughs> All right, so what's gonna happen here, team? We're gonna bring it down, we're gonna get those Supermans going. Supermans again, arms and legs fully extended out. You're gonna bring it up, and then you're gonna isolate the arm each time you row, okay? So right, left, right, and left. If you need to take a quick little breather, put those arms and legs down, but try to pop right back up and continue that, okay? If you just, uh, if you can only hold it for a little bit, that's fine. Just try to hold it, take a break, and bring it right back. All right, squad, here we go. Three, two, 
One, let's go. Right, left, right, left, continue. Flex the, that booty, flex that lower back, flex that right arm, that left arm. Here we go, squad, keep it going. Fight that resistance, fight that gravity. Isolating each arm, so we target each side of the back here. Almost there. And rest it. Woo! Uh, that's a good full body, full back right there. All right, squad, put those bands down. Oh, God. Again, when I'm sitting down on my chair, eating some lunch, designing these exercises are great. And then when you actually do them, it's like, what the heck? What was I thinking? Okay, squat. So grab the lightest dumbbell you have. One pound, two pound, three pound, up to five. Nothing more than five, nothing more than seat go, okay? You're just gonna hold that weight out in the nice wall sit. <laughs> yeah, we need we need a anti anti peak up in this business, cousin. I know, what the heck? Where the heck is John and Allie, bro? Where the heck are they? All right, so we're gonna get in that wall sit team. Nice and low, try to find a wall in your place. And nice and low, and you're literally, we're just gonna hold this weight out the whole time, okay? All right, squad, if you don't have a weight or resistance band, just hold those hands out the whole time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's bring it down nice and low in that wall. Arms out, and hold this. Targeting the core here, targeting the shoulders, targeting the legs, obviously. Just push through those heels and those toes into the wall as you hold this nice chair. Hold that chair. If you run out of chairs in your house, you know you could just do your uh, significant others, your friends and family a favor and just hold a wall sit so they can sit on You know, we're just doing, you know, helping the people out by creating our own chairs out of our bodies. I'm just trying to get your mind off this as I tell this stupid anecdote, or not anecdote, but stupid uh, hypothetical situation because we only have 15 more seconds left, team. Keep those arms out. Keep pushing. Let's go. Let's go. Five seconds. And rest team, beautiful. One minute, one minute. Come on up, deep breaths, deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, fishies, we're doing great. So that's number eight, number nine. Grab, if you have the long resistance bands with the handles, grab the lightest one you have. If you got some light weights, five pounds, eight pounds, 10, nothing more than 10. Grab those, and you got the uh, only the circular band. Hold it in the, uh, with those fingertips as we do this press. Okay, so I'm gonna go ten pounds here. All right, so we're just gonna do those low to high presses, team. If you got the line resistance band with the handles, place that underneath that back foot as we hold this stagger stance. All right, chest up, head up, arms just slightly bent here. We're gonna bring it up, have them touch at the top. At the top, it's shoulder height. Up and then down. Okay, team? Both hands at the same time. Here we go. You are a queen, mama. You're the, you're the queen fish. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go, squad. Control that weight as it comes down. You should feel the tension in that lower part of your pecs, lower part of that chest. A little bit in the shoulder, a little bit in the tries but primarily in that lower part of the pecs. Arms just slightly bent on this. 
Keep those abs tight. Keep those abs tight. Let's go, squat. Keep it up. We're almost there. And rest it. Beautiful. Put that weight down. What is that, number nine? All right, number 10. Last one in the full sequence here, squat. Get your mats, get your comfy floors, and we're gonna do that nice torso, or that sit-up, or the crunch, elevated dumbbell hold. So I'm gonna go 10 pounds here. If you got five, if you got eight, grab those. If you got your water bottle, if you got something of a little bit of weight, grab that. All right, squat, so we're gonna bring it down here. Lay on your backs, <clears throat> okay? Knee, legs are going to be down here, arms, hands are holding the apparatus, whatever you're holding, okay, on the sides, and we're just going to do those, essentially those torso raises or those sit-ups and crunches. So just bring it up nice and high, control your body coming down, and repeat. Try your best to keep those arms pointed towards the ceiling, okay? If the sit-up's a little bit too challenging, just give me that crunch. Okay, give me the crunch as high as you can go. All right, squad, so grab that weight, grab your water bottle, grab your resistance band fishies. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Try your best to keep those feet on the floor at all times. Whether you're doing the crunch or the sit-up. Get that weight or that whatever you're holding, right above that head as you come up. Let's go, squat. 20 seconds. Control yourself, coming down, don't slam down. Let's go. Almost there. And rest it, beauties. Good job. Come on up. Grab her some water. Wipe it down. Oh man, today's a good day to do full body since the weather's nice and cool outside. Cooling us down a little bit more than the AC. I know, Simi. Can't wait to meet Simi. No excuses. That's right, Kristen. No excuses. Wall sitting, Christ. Mikey, you got strong legs, brother. Why are, you, why are you crying? I want you to know, team, crying is allowed. Okay, you know all those people that are like, oh, crying, no, not allowed. But if you need to cry, let it out. All crying is welcome here. Allie, I mean, Allie's in good shape, but you know, getting wedding ready, you can do it with the Jazz Squad, right team? All right, so wipe it down, squad. Let's get those lawnmowers again, okay? If you wanna go up and weights a little bit, you can, which I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go 25 pounds here. If you got 20, if you got 15, snag that. You got maybe a little bit of a heavier resistance band, grab that, okay? If you have the resistance band, remember you're placing it um, underneath that front foot in that stagger stance. All right, squad. All right, silly, if you're feeling it more in your knees, bring those feet further out. All right, I'll, re I'll remind you guys in that one. Okay, you shouldn't really feel it in the knees. That means that your feet might be a little bit too far back. You need to bring those feet forward a little bit, okay? Let's get those lawnmowers going, okay, team? Right side first, left hand down. Open up that right side, here it is. Let's go, fishies. Three, two, one, go. 
Remember, keep that arm nice and tight. Don't bow the elbow out to the side. Keep that torso nice and straight. Exhale when you pull it up. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep going. All right, team, switch the sides. Switch the sides, let's get that left side going. Here it is. Let's go. Get in position. Three, two, one, go. Keep it going, squad. Let's go. Almost there. And rest it. Beautiful. Put that weight down. All right, squad. Let's get those burpees going again. Get that heart rate up. Keep it elevated. Yeah, so there you go, Dylan. Dylan's out of there. <laughs> I like them because I cry every time. Hey, as long as you, uh, as long as you get through it, Mikey, that's all that matters. Whatever needs to happen. All right, team, here we go. Let's get those burps going again. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Remember, push-ups are optional. Got those modified burpees. One leg out at a time. Let's go, team. Keep it going. Keep it up, keep it up, almost there. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. And rest it. Woo! Bring it on up, team. Take those deep breaths. Catch that breath there. Heck yeah. If anyone tells you they're never out of breath after a minute of burpees, they're absolutely lying to you. All right, squad. So grab that medium weight, just one of them. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stick with 12 and a half here. Since we're gonna be doing a lot more shoulders and other exercises, okay? Remember, if you don't have a weight, grab a book, grab your cat, grab a book, uh, water bottle of some kind, something. Maybe some frozen veggies to hold in your hand to cool you down. <laughs> there you go. Mamas, you can, you can swear. Swear at them. Whatever gets you through. Whatever gets you through. All right, right side first. Right side first, squat. Left leg forward. Let's go. Get that weight up, get that apparatus, whatever you're holding up. Three, two, one, let's go. Arm coming down in that nice 90 degree formation here. Keep it going, team. Let's go. All right, squad. Let's switch.
switch it up, switch it up. Here we go. Right leg forward, left arm up, right arm down to the side. Three, two, one, go. Get that full flexion, arm fully extended as you bring that weight or whatever you're holding up. Here we go, squad. Keep it going. Almost there. Rest it. All right. So keep that mat down. Grab that, grab that weight. Remember, the weight shouldn't be too heavy. It's literally just there to make sure you focus on bringing those legs up on their own. Okay, squad. All right, you fishies. All right, you beautiful souls. So remember, knee up, alternate those sides, okay? Alternate the left, and then alternate the right. All righty. All right, team. It's a good one so far. Hope you're all feeling all right. Hope you're all having a good Monday. Let's get after it. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Left. And then right. Try to come up as low as you can. If you need to come up all the way, that's fine. If it's too strenuous, just stand up, bring it down, and then bring it back up. Functional fitness, team. Functional fitness here. That's what we're all about. That's what the jazz nutrition and fitness model is all about. Overall wellness, overall strength, overall flexibility. All fitness levels welcome. Here we go, team. Keep it going. These suck, I know. I'm, I'm struggling with you. Almost there. And rest it. Rest it, team. Oh. Woo. Let's go. All right. Keep that mat down. Keep that nice comfy, comfy floor if you're on that down. And grab some medium to medium heavy weights. And last time I was at 20. I'm going to go 25 this time. If you got 20s, if you got 15s, if you want to go up a little bit, that's fine. If you want to stay with the weight you had last time, that's fine too. For those of you that are doing this with the resistance band, just stick with stick with the, the one you had last time, okay? It exponentially makes it much more challenging when you go up in resistance on these ones, especially in that nice wide position I want you all to be in, okay? All right, squad. Let's go. Oh. Feeling good, feeling great. Feeling great, feeling good, how are you? 10 points for, everyone, for anyone who knows where that's from. Here we go. 10 fishies. Bring it down. Legs elevated if you want to. Up to you. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So pulse it. Two full pulses, and then all the way back up. One, two, all the way up. One, two, all the way up. Just like that crappy rap song, all the way up. Let's go, team. Keep it going. Arms 90 degrees as you bring them down. Here we go, team. Keep it going. Almost there. Let's go. 
and rest it. Put those weights down to the side. Come on up. Let's get those push-ups going. Knees down or knees up. All right, just five of them. Five of these suckers. All right, fishies, here it is. Three, two, one, go. Give me five. Let's go. Once you hit those five, take a breather. I like how you guys have gotten a less talkative as the class has gone by. I take that as a good sign. You guys are focusing. I like it. I'm just going to be talking to myself since y'all are probably too busy trying to catch your breath. As am I. All right, team, great job. So we got those bicycles again, okay? We got those bicycles. All right, team, take your time with these. Extra challenge, remember, keeping that head elevated. If you need to put the feet down though, or the head down, that's eight okay. All right, squad, here we go. Fingertips on your ears. Don't hold your head. Fingertips on the ears. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Let's go, squad, keep it going. I'm a little hungry, so my stomach is making some funky noises right now as I do these bicycles. Let's go, squad. Keep going. 15 seconds. If you're feeling spicy, pick up that pace. And rest it. Woo! Let that lactic acid get back, turn back into pyruvate. Great job, squad. Okay, so flip over, oh, grab that resistance band. I'm gonna stick, eh, I'll go up. Screw it, I'll go up. If you wanna stick with the resistance band you had last time, that's fine, but if you want a little bit more of a challenge on those rows, grab this. Okay, all right, fishies, there you go, silly. There you go, mamacita, and giving me the dory fish. It's a little, it's a bummer. I love finding Dory, I love finding Nemo. But uh, when, uh, when someone is, is very, very rude to their employees and their subordinates, their colleagues, that's, that's just really tough to hear. All right, squad, here we go. Let's lay on your chest. Arms fully extended, legs fully extended, let's go. Three, two, one, everybody up nice and high, and go, alternate those rows. Remember, even if you don't have a resistance band, you can still do these rows as you hold the Superman. If you need to put the arms and legs down to take a quick little breather, that is okay. Let's go, squad. Keep going. Almost there. And rest it. Whew. Man, that's such a good one. I love that one. That's so good. Pretty much hit it in all parts of the back there. Whew. All right, squad. Take your time coming up. Let's get those wall sits going. Let's start crying together. Silly. Remember, silly and for others who are feeling awkwardness in the knees, just bring those feet a little bit further out in that wall sit. 
Okay, grab that light resistance band, grab that light weight. I'm sticking with five pounds here. Yeah, you should not feel any awkwardness in the, in the knees. Fighting Nemo colleagues are great. They're awesome. Especially Dan Leary has the uh, has Gil. Gillian. All right, team, here we go. And then whoever played uh, Nigel, the uh, Pelican, was awesome. <laughs> I love that. One, one. Here we go. Bring it down, team. Get low in that wall sit. Let's go. All right. So for those of you that are feeling awkwardness in the knees, just bring those feet a little bit further out. All right. Here we go. Arms up, hands out, and hold. You should feel all the tension. Obviously holding the weight in the shoulders. And then primarily feeling that tension in the quads. A little bit in the hammies, a little bit in the glutes as we hold this wall sit. No awkwardness in the knees. Just bring those feet a little bit further out. All right, for those of you that aren't too tired after this, I want you to send me your favorite Pixar, Disney Pixar movie in the chat. I'll start first because mine's the best, and if anybody disagrees with me, you're wrong. It's Up. Up is the best. Can't go wrong with Up. But I'm just kidding. All of them are super great. Here we go, squad. Keep going. That new one coming out, that's, what is it, Luca? That one's looking pretty good. Let's go team, 15 seconds, keep pushing. Keep pushing, let's go. Let's go, we got it. Keep holding it. Five seconds. And rest it, beautiful. Oh, woo! Let's go. Those, uh, those wall sits are turning me into a woo girl or a woo man. We're all about inclusion, team. So woo man, woo women, all out. <sighs> crap. <laughs> you like the crab? You like the uh, the French crab? No, it was the lobster. Sorry, the French lob lobster. No, shrimp. The shrimp. Dear God, can't get my fish right. The wall sits are just combobulating my brain here. <sighs> all right, squad. So let's get those low to high presses going. If you want to go up and wait a little bit, you can, okay? But if you, if you want to stick with what you had last time, that's fine. Remember, the low to high press are these ones right here. So I'm going to go up a little bit. I'm going to go 12 and a half. All right, squad. Let's get after it. Let's make some moves here. <laughs> Mikey, oh, <laughs> they called you Russell. I mean, Russell is so dang funny, man. <laughs> He's so freaking funny in that. All right, Ratatouille, silly. I'll respect that. That's a good one. That's kind of a, that's a ringer. No, no one really says that one, or I might be mistaken. All right, squad, here we go. So stagger stance. If you have the long resistance band, place it underneath that back foot. If you got the circular band, place it in between. The, uh, the fingers. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Have them touch shoulder height. Don't go above shoulder height. Arms just slightly bent here. Let's go, Jazzy Squad. Keep it up. Almost there. And rest it. You beauts. Great job. Put that weight down. Beautiful. All right, we got one more. Grab that lightweight. Remember, lightweight, light resistance band doesn't need to be too heavy. All right, so I'm gonna stick with 10 here. Grab that nice, comfortable mat, nice, comfortable floor, filled with cocoa urine. Cocoa, yeah. I mean, Mamacita has a reason for that. Oh my God, yeah, Mikey, onward was so good. 
Monsters Inc. is so great too. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh, Monster Zeke is so damn funny, man. So damn funny. I gotta rewatch that one. It's been a while. All right, team. So let's get those sit-ups, those crunches going. All right, here we go. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Try to keep those feet down the whole time. As you come up, bring that weight above that head. Let's go. Let's keep making moves, team. Keep making moves. Outside, you can make all the noises you want. But anyone that gets their noises looked at as me, it's my awkwardness. All right, grab some water real quick, you buttes. Oh, yeah, perfect timing. Let's get the burnout going, cool down, up. All right, random call outs. Random call out squad, grab some water, wipe it down real quick. Let's get after it. We're gonna start with the fan favorite. Let's get those burpees going, okay? Corella was good. That's good to hear, Mikey. I've also heard some good things too. I need to go, I need to watch uh, Quiet Place Part 2. That, that first one was so freaking good. <clears throat> Alright, so burpees first, team. Fan favorite, we gotta get the burpees first. Okay, make sure you're mat or your comfortable floor is readily available since we're probably going to go down for some of that stuff. All right, here we go. Burpees first, two minutes. Let's get after it. Three, two, one, let's go. Push-ups are optional. All right, team, go to your mats. Let's get the bicycles going. Let's go, squad. Let's go. No nothing, just get those arms out. Let's keep holding the team. We're more than a minute in. Keep this wall sitting nice and steady. Ten more seconds of this, and we're gonna go back to the bicycles. All right, bring it down to the floor. Let's get those bicycles going. 30 seconds, let's go. Let's go squad, keep it up. 10 seconds. Almost there. Rest it. Woo! Good job, fishies. Great job. If you want to just stay down on the floor, like I want to, be my guest. 
Oh, beautiful job, team. Beautiful job. All right. Let's get a little, little yoga going. Since we got a yoga master in the chat, let's see if uh, I do a yoga cool down up to yoga master standards. All right, feet together, team. Let's take some deep breaths here. Big inhale. Exhale out. Big inhale. Exhale out. One more time. Big inhale. Bring those hands to heart center. Exhale out. Let's reach down for those toes or those shins. Bend those knees, hands on the floor. Inch up, upward plank position. Let's get a downward dog. We need to widen those feet, that's fine. Bend those knees to get a little bit deeper in that downward dog, that's fine too. Let's come back to that upward plank. Let's chaturanga down. You can either do the cobra or the upward dog. Chaturanga down, upward dog, with just the hands and the feet on the mat, or the cobra with those hips, top part of the legs on the mat as you hold down and flex that lower back. Bring it to uh, child's pose. Reach as far as you can out in front of you. Bring that head down to the mat. And then if you want, just give yourself a little hug. You can put those arms to the side and just rest that head. What's this one called, Dylan? Is this the roly poly? All right, squad, come back up. You can either sit down or lay down in that course pose, your choice, whatever you want. Relax those legs, relax that mind, let your conscience be free, arms out to the side, palms up. And let them be. My freestyle is terrible. Just take those deep breaths, team. Inhale in that belly. Exhale out. Inhale, and exhale out. All right, team, let's take five, cinco, five deep breaths together. Let's go, big inhale, exhale out. Big inhale, and exhale out. Big inhale, and exhale out. Inhale, exhale out. Last one, big inhale, and exhale out. Now keep that breathing at a rate that's comfortable to you. Please keep those eyes closed. All right, team, the theme of today is nature. I think most of you are, as are nature fanatics, similar to myself. So let's have that as a theme of today. Look deep into nature, and then you will understand almost everything better. Again, <clears throat> look deep into nature, and then 
you will understand almost everything better. With that said, let's take a big deep inhale. And exhale out. Slowly open up those eyes. Slowly make your way on up. And namaste, you beautiful souls. Great job. Great job, fishies. Great job, guys, squad. Great push today.